Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi, I am Chloe, and today's video is going to be my October Plan With Me video. I can't believe we are already in October, and I feel like with every month that goes by, I just get more and more confused at how fast time is flying. I'm really excited because October is the month where my state is going to go out of lockdown because we have been in lockdown for a few months now but we are almost gonna get out of this and I'm really excited because I can't wait to experience what it's like being outside in the real world again and also just seeing my friends and just hanging out and just eating good foods and I'm just really excited so yeah for this month I decided to go with a black and white theme as you saw from the thumbnail and yeah without further ado let's just get started so for this month's theme, I decided to go for a black and white theme. Actually, last year in my previous planner, I did a black and white theme as well and I really liked it. It is pretty different from my usual color scheme that I usually choose for my planner. I feel like lately I've been doing a lot of green themes or nature -y themes or if not that, I do a theme that has some sort of pink in it. I just have noticed this trend and I felt like doing something a little bit different so I decided to go with this black and white theme. It was a bit hard because I have a limited amount of monochromatic black and white color scheme stationary items. I just have very limited amounts of that so I really needed to figure out how I could implement what I had on me and use it like in a unique way in my planner. For the lettering, I decided to use my white gel pen in different ways. I really like the way the white pen stands out on black paper so I wanted to take advantage of that and just use it for the lettering. And on top of the theme that I decided to do for the color scheme of black and white, I decided to choose something almost related to Halloween because October is the month where Halloween is present and a lot of people go crazy for October because of the Halloween festivities and all of that. So within this month, I also decided to doodle some Halloween vector art illustrations, just really simple ones. I used Procreate and I decided to use my Fomemo printer to print them out because it just prints out in black and white and it was perfect for this theme. I'm not much of a doodler if you're not aware, I just don't doodle a lot and that's only because I don't think I'm really good at it, but I decided to just experiment with Procreate and the stationery and supplies that I had available and I really like the way that everything turned out. This video isn't sponsored by Fomemo but I will leave a link to this printer down below if you guys are interested. They did send me one before but yeah like I said this video isn't sponsored. I just utilized the printer that I had from ages ago because one it's been sitting on my desk and I haven't used it in a while and two it's just perfect because it only prints in black and white and the steam is black and white. So yeah speaking of Halloween I decided to implement just like the little things that you could think of when it comes to the theme of Halloween. Everything scary, freaky, just a lot of candy and I decided to just play around with those themes because that's what I think of when I think of Halloween.
honestly for Australia, Halloween is not really as big as I think it would be in America. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not from America and I've never been there so I'm not sure how crazy it gets when it comes to this month or celebration. But all I know is that in Australia, it is not that big or not that crazy. People still participate and have Halloween parties. I remember that when I was young, people would go trick-or-treating, but it's not as much as I think people make it out to be in America. I feel like in America, like everyone participates and just everyone makes a big deal out of it. Like the grocery stores or just any store, they would have like Halloween items and candies probably selling out like crazy. But here, I feel like not everyone participates in it. Like you won't see a lot of kids trick or treating. It would be like a small amount, but I don't know. From my experience, I'm not really sure. So yeah, I've seen a lot of people on TikTok decorate their houses for Halloween. And isn't Halloween just like one day in October and it's like the last day of October? So it like is crazy to me that people like take it so seriously. And just seeing everyone have fun with it and go crazy with dressing up and eating a lot of candy and also the tradition of like pumpkin carving that is so cool to me but we don't really do that here like you won't find a place where you can buy pumpkins and you carve it yourself i think for us in australia you have to go to the grocery store and just buy a regular pumpkin and just do it yourself but no one really uses it as like decoration here like i've never seen that in person i may just not have experienced that myself and other people have here in australia but for me i really have no experience and i would like to experience it just getting all festive and stuff and i feel like the older i get the more I want to experience these little fun things because in general, I'm gonna get a little deep here but like it gets a little boring when you get older because you're expected to just like take life seriously and I don't know, from what I know, you only dress up when you're young but then when you're older, you're expected to just like be the one to give candy not really be the one to have fun as well I could also just be assuming that and other people don't act that way but right now in this time of my life i would like to take it more seriously take the time to dress up maybe not trick-or-treat i think the concept of trick-or-treating is a little strange to me just walking up to people's houses and just like, expecting them to give you stuff i feel like that's really weird to me especially because there's a lot of weird people in this world and i don't trust a lot of people so how can i go up to someone's house and expect that they're gonna give me good stuff and not something that's like sketch or dangerous you know maybe i just think of the world negatively but the older i get i just notice a lot of these things and i just feel like there's a lot of weird people in this world and i do not want to deal with that so yeah i do want to experience halloween parties or just halloween events i know there are like places such as our theme parks and stuff that participate in halloween and they probably have like scary houses that you like walk through or just rides and they just decorate things but other than that if you didn't go out of your way to look for these things you really wouldn't tell that halloween is like around the corner and especially with the whole panini that we're in over the last year and so like it's just even harder because one we're like mostly inside and there's a lot of restrictions and we're just not that exposed to it but yeah i think halloween is a really cool celebration event thing but just where i'm from they just don't experience or celebrate that as deeply as other celebrations or events such as christmas or valentine's day even or easter honestly i don't even know the history of halloween maybe i'm just dumb but i probably need to do more research on that i know other countries do their own different thing for october 31st and I would love to learn more about that so if you know and you don't really celebrate halloween and you and you celebrate something else feel free to educate me down below because i want to know what it's like outside of australia and also if you're from america i would also love to know if halloween is actually a really big thing or is that just something that we see in the movies and no one actually cares about it like let me know
hopefully once we are out of this lockdown because currently sydney is in lockdown but in october we're gonna go out i hope that i can experience some halloween festivities whether it's like a small get together with friends and we just dress up randomly or you know wear costumes to a picnic or something i feel like that would be really interesting and fun if you have a character that you have dressed up as or there's a character that you would like to dress up as let me know as well i have been thinking about it over the past month or so the entire september i was just thinking about what character i could dress up possibly in the future but the thing that makes it hard is just knowing what character i can pull off because a lot of these characters just do not have a very realistic body type obviously they're not real and also the hair i feel like the wig situation is a little eh for me it's just too much work but i also have colored hair so my options are very limited so we will have to see about that but yeah let me know if there's any car let me know if there's any character you would like to dress up as or a character you are going to dress up as because i would love to know that as well but yeah for this month back to the plan with me i just incorporated a lot of halloween related things whether it's candy scary items like ghosts and i also included doodles of the dagona candy that you see from squid game the honeycomb challenge if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. A lot of people are starting to say that it's overrated, but I still think it's worth a watch. It's still interesting, in my opinion. I love the contrast of like bright colors and how like messed up the overall theme or plot is of that show. If you haven't watched it, just watch it. It's just really good. Let me know if you've watched it as well. I have finished it and I can't believe they did that in episode 6 and yeah that's all i'm gonna say about that show i think it was really interesting to watch Other than all the Halloween related things, for my planner, I have been slacking just a little bit because I have started school again. This is actually my third semester, or technically it's a trimester because there's three semesters in a year. But yeah, I am on my last semester for this year and I honestly have no idea how I'm gonna get through this because... I'm just burnt out and want to just relax for the rest of the year but we are currently in week two i'm kind of enjoying my subjects more compared to my previous one so i'm really excited to see how this term will go i still will get stressed but that's just the reality of uni i hope you guys are all coping well with school knowing that you guys are back in school as well but i wish all of you guys luck to those who are back in school or who are just continuing with school remember to give yourselves breaks remember to still have time to enjoy little things and remember that all that matters is that you tried your best and you put all the effort that you can into whatever you're working on i truly believe in you and hope you all the best overall i hope you guys enjoyed this theme i liked sharing this process with you guys and just catching up with you guys through these voiceovers i know i'm not the most active on my youtube or social media only because i am really going through it but just know that i am here for you and i feel you and i am just here to remind you that you are not alone and if you ever need a friend to talk to i am here i am basically a friend that you catch up with through a screen but i'm still a real person and i care about your feelings and i hope you are all well and yeah that is pretty much it for my process and i hope you like the theme that i did for this month and that just about wraps up the october plan with me video i hope you guys enjoyed watching if there's anything else that you'd like me to talk about in my future plan with me videos or future videos let me know down below let me know what theme you did for the month of october and yeah that's pretty much it for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you have a good day please take care of yourselves and i'll just see you in my next one bye bye